I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here we have three questions related to speed, distance and time. These type of questions are normally found in competitive exams test papers where calculator is not allowed and time is restricted. So let us figure out how to solve such questions effectively in the shortest period of time. The three questions here are very similar. They'll have the same strategy. And uh, I hope with that you will get a practice to solve such questions. Question number one here is, in covering a distance of 300 kilometers, Anil takes two hours more than Ben. If Anil doubles his speed, then he would take one hour less than Ben. Ben's speed in kilometers per hour is four choices are given to you. You can now pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Question number two is very similar to the first one. It says in covering a distance of 1105 kilometers, Anil takes nine hours more than Ben. If Anil doubles his speed, then he would take four hours less than Ben. Anil's speed in kilometers per hour is what? So earlier we were wanting to find Ben's speed. Now we want Anil's speed. And question number three is uh, in covering a distance of 300 kilometers, Anil takes two hours less than Ben. If Ben doubles his speed, then he would take four hours less than Anil. Anil's speed in kilometers per hour is what? So we kind of switch around this situation, but effectively it is the same question, right? Now, let us see how to solve such questions. We'll start straight away with the strategy and then we'll practice that strategy as we move along. In covering a distance of 300 kilometers, Anil takes two hours more than Ben. So in such questions, we have a fixed distance, right? So the distance is fixed and is given to us as 300 kilometers. Anil takes two hours more than Ben. If Anil doubles his speed, so we're talking about two things. One is speed and time. So as you know, distance, speed and time, the relation can be written in the form of uh, this triangle, which represents distance as the product of speed and time. Now, if the distance is constant, right? So distance is constant. In that case, we know that speed is inversely proportional to time, right? That is to say that speed times time is constant, right? Since uh, we know distance is speed into time and that is constant, right? So, so that fixed distance is speed into time and so we have a constant relationship between the product of S and T. If T increases, S decreases. If S increases, T decreases, right? So that is kind of important to understand. You could also write this as T is inversely proportional to 1 over S. Either way, it works. Okay, now let's see how to solve this question. In covering 300 kilometers, Anil takes two hours more than Ben. So let's say that time t for Anil is ta, right? And time t for Ben is tb. So ta and tb are time taken by Anil and Ben. It says in covering a distance of 300 kilometers, Anil takes two hours more than Ben. So this difference between time taken by Anil and Ben is two hours, right? So that is what is the first statement, which says difference of their time. Correct. Now, if Anil doubles his speed, then he would take one hour less. Now, what does this mean? when Anil doubles his speed. Important to understand. So when I say 
that Anil doubles his speed, it really means speed of Anil doubles. So that means what? That means the time becomes half, right? So the time t is half because it's going faster, right? So in that case, this time is half, right? So half of this time t a minus t b because Ben is going at the same speed is one hour less. So less means negative, right? So one hour less. So we get the second equation which says when you double the speed of Anil, then the time taken will be half. So that half of the time minus the time taken by Ben is minus one. Minus one means takes one hour less than Ben. Is that clear to you? And the question is to find Ben's speed in kilometers per hour. Perfect. Okay. So we have two equations, simple equations to solve now. Uh, we need to find speed, not just the time, but here we have equation in time, right? So if I multiply this by 2, I get TA minus 2 times TB, time taken by Ben, is equal to minus 2, right? So we do times 2. The second equation, equation 2, right? So we'll call this as our equation number 1. This as equation number two. So I hope the step is clear, right? And we get our equation number three. Okay. So now, if I add or rather subtract one minus two, so if I do equation one minus equation two, then what do I get? TA and TA cancel. And here we get TB, right? Time taken by Ben. And two minus minus two, two minus minus two, is basically 2 plus 2, which is 4. Clear? So the time taken by Ben is 4. All the units we know are in kilometers per hour. Perfect? Okay. So we get Ben's time, but we want Ben's speed, right? So now Ben's speed will be? Speed is distance over time. So in this case, the distance is 300 kilometers, right? And time we got in hours, all these are in hours, four hours, right? So that becomes the, the answer of this particular question. So dividing four times seven is 28 and 20 is five. So 75 kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you, right? So we get uh, 75 kilometers per hour as the solution of this particular question. So effectively, it is just three statements to the answer and just take very less time, right? This is the most effective way of answering such a question. Here is question number two. I've made a slight change in this uh, question. This number I've made it 1300. It makes for easier calculations. The question here is, in covering a distance of 1300 kilometer, Anil takes nine hours more than Ben. If Anil doubles his speed, then he would take four hours less than Ben. Anil's speed in kilometers per hour is what? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's apply our strategy. So TA is the time which Anil takes, right? And TB is the time which Ben takes. And the difference between these two times is given to us as 9 hours. So that is 9 hours more, right? Second part of this question is, if Anil doubles his speed, so double speed means? Means half time. And therefore, in that case, we'll write half of the speed, originally time taken, minus Ben is going with the same speed, so same time. If Anil doubles his speed, then he would have four hours less than Ben. Four hours less means minus four. 
Okay, so we get our two equations. Let's call them equation number one and two. Now to solve these equations, a simple method could be we could do one minus two, right? So let's do equation one minus equation two. So we get half of time taken by Anil as equal to nine minus minus four, which is 13. Or time taken by Anil is 13 times two, which is 26, correct? The units are hours for time, kilometers for distance. We need to find Anil's speed, right? So Anil's speed will be how much? So Anil's speed will be equal to distance divided by time. Here the distance is 1300 kilometers and time is 26 hours. So we can um, cancel this out. Uh, so it goes, when you divide by two, right? So this becomes 13, correct? And dividing 1300 by two, well, that gives you an idea. We can divide by 13 itself, right? So, so you could divide by 13, you get two here and 100 there, correct? Or 100 divided by two is 50. So we get 50 kilometers per hour, which is our option A. Okay. As such, 26 is twice 13. So, you know, it is half, right? Half of 100. And so you get 50 kilometers per hour as your answer. Perfect. Now let's look into the last example. In covering a distance of 360 kilometers, Anil takes two hours less than Ben. So the statement gives us the equation that time difference between Anil and Ben this time is two hours less means minus two. So that becomes our first equation. If Ben doubles his speed, then he would take four hours less than Anil. So if Ben doubles the speed, that means his time will be half, right? So half of Ben's, if Ben doubles his speed, then he would take four hours less. Minus TA will be minus four. Perfect. So that's what you get. Anil's speed in kilometers per hour is what? That's what you need to find. Okay, since we want to find Anil's speed, let's twice this second equation. So we get Ben's speed minus twice Anil's speed is equal to minus eight. So let's call this as our equation number three. This is two for us. Now, if I add these two equations, then time for Ben will cancel out, right? So we'll add equation one with equation three. So what we get here is minus, when you add this becomes minus time for Anil, and when you add, you get minus 10. So that gives you that the time for Anil is 10 hours. Perfect. What do we need to find? We need to find the speed. The speed will be distance divided by time, right? So speed is distance divided by time, which is 360 divided by 10 or 36 kilometers per hour. Option B. You see how we could solve this? So that is how you can actually solve such questions. I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.